Okay, so you might be wondering, what makes this the ultimate smoked mac and cheese? Well, if you've seen our previous video, my wife and I put five of the most popular recipes for smoked mac and cheese to the test. And this recipe is kind of a Frankenstein made with all our favorite parts of the popular recipes. We think we've got the perfect cheese sauce, everything cooks together in one dish. And maybe most importantly of all, we have a super crunchy, crispy topping. This has pancetta or bacon, uh, it's got this kind of like brown butter and olive oil, this like nutty flavor, and it's super crunchy, super golden brown, and you do that in a pan separately so you don't have to worry about browning this on your smoker, which isn't always easy to do. So I think it's our ultimate smoked mac and cheese. It's one of the best. It's better than all the five we. Nothing against those recipes, but it's, it's the best of all of them combined into one. So I'll show you how to make this. You'll have to make it, try it out. Let me know what you think, see if it's the ultimate. If it's not, if you have a better recipe, I would love to try it as well. So let me know down in the comments. Hope you enjoy. The recipe starts with one pound dry weight of pasta elbows, macaroni. Then we'll use four ounces of Gouda or Gruyere and Colby Jack or cheddar. We've tried them all. They're all good. That's a Chipotle Gouda I'm using there. And then you'll add eight ounces of cream cheese and four tablespoons of butter. I like to cut it up just to create a bit more surface area. And then we'll add a tablespoon of your favorite barbecue rub. This will be rich and pretty salty, so you can get away with using a sweeter rub. I'm using Killer Hogs all-purpose seasoning there. Uh, keep it light when you first start, maybe a tablespoon. You can always taste and season how you like a little bit later. Then you'll add two cups of whole milk and four cups of half and half. We tested like seven versions and found that's the perfect amount for a rich and creamy sauce while having enough liquid in there to cook the pasta and not make it too thick. Throw this on a smoker at 225. If you're using a Traeger and have super smoke, use that. Add a little bit more smoky flavor into it and cook it for about 90 minutes. This is after about 45 minutes or an hour. Uh, you'll see there's still quite a bit of liquid in the pan. Don't worry, it's gonna cook off and this is exactly what you need uh, to make sure the pasta cooks and that sauce stays nice and creamy and not like a casserole. We kind of found all five of the popular recipes we tried turned into a bit of a casserole instead of like a creamy mac and that's what we were going for. Then it's time to make your topping when you have about 15-20 minutes left on the cook. I used pancetta, bacon works great. You just wanna dice it up, uh, cook it, drain the pan, then you'll add a tablespoon of olive oil and four tablespoons of butter. Let the butter fully melt, and I like to cook it a little bit until the foam kind of subsides, almost like you're making brown butter. Uh, and you really do get some of that brown butter flavor in here, those kind of caramel nutty notes, uh, which is really nice. And you'll add a cup of panko breadcrumbs to the pan. This won't take long, just a couple minutes. And when it's starting to turn golden brown on the bottom, give it a stir, press it back out flat, and then keep stirring until you've got an even golden brown color on this. And then mix it with your cooked pancetta or bacon. And once the mac has been on for about 90 minutes, this is what it should look like. Nice, creamy, not very, really no liquid to be seen in the bottom of the pan. And at this point, you're ready to throw your topping on, cook it for about 30 more minutes. It'll pick up a little bit more smoke, but it's really just so that topping will kind of meld and get to know that uh, cheese sauce on the top there. That way it's not completely just crumbly when you go to scoop it out. And there you have it, our ultimate smoked mac and cheese. I'm really happy with this one. I think you'll enjoy it, and I can't wait to hear what you think. Be sure to let us know in the comments if you make this and we'll throw a link in the description below to a printable recipe and be sure to check out our original video testing all five of the popular recipes if you'd like some more smoke mac inspiration see you next time